welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwig Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle. Now, I, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I was calling it Tansy. But then if you read the, um, the story, which is in the description section under, for more inspiration, that link, uh, it might just be pronounced T and C. So it could go either way. And it is by CZT, Deborah Fig. Brilliant tangle, lots of fun. And we will get started. It's a grid pattern. And uh, today's uh, Thursday, so we had a lot of fun playing with this tangle during our tangle time sessions. It's one of those, it's not necessarily difficult. But there's a, so many options uh, for use, or you know, for decorating. Uh, like you could use it as a border. You can use it as a as a fill in. You could even use it as a you know kind of a standalone, just doing uh, you know a four square grid and and having fun with it. All right. So once you have your grid set, <clears throat> we're going to do some diagonal lines. So uh, I would be, well, we're going to essentially create a diamond on the inside. So I'm going from the lower left to the upper right, like so. And then uh, it's just as easy as turn your tile and do the same thing over and over again until you're done. This is just dealing with a four square. If you're doing a larger grid, um, I kind of like, I personally like the idea of working in a, one four square at a time just to make sure I get it right because you could do diagonal line diagonal line you know do all of the same uh, stroke that goes in the same direction I tried that earlier and I was like well I got a little nervous thinking I'm gonna do something and I don't <laughs> and I didn't want to go there all right so once you have this then we're going to go from the middle of you know they pick a side to start uh, of the straight side we're going to draw a straight line up to the center now one of my my own personal strategy on these is to either start from the center and uh, start from the center here go to the intersection you know versus just drawing you could draw a line all the way through I just hesitate I see even right there I missed a little bit but I kind of do each section separately and hope for the best. <laughs> Generally, I have uh, have a lot of luck not missing completely that intersection. All right, next step is these lines we just created at the end. We're going to do some rounding. And on my version of the step out, I left one open so that way you could just see this is what rounding is in case you don't know um, and fill it in. Now, I'll um, give you an additional thought here. Um, I like to do it as as uh, as prescribed by the step out. Uh, but if you're playing with it, do take a look at, again, that for more inspiration link so you can see all of the neat decorating ideas for this tangle. Because depending on what you might want to do may determine the size of this rounding. So uh, at this point, you might want to just, you know, have you have your decorating ideas in mind. But yeah, okay, that looks good. And I believe this is the T part. Because <laughs> it does, you know, when you're just doing, you know, one section at a time, it kind of looks like a T. All right. If you look at the whole, you know, the whole line, then it looks like an eye. So if we just take one section. All right. Now for the C part. So on the outside, you know, of what we just did, we're going to go from uh, this corner to this corner and make a nice curved line. And we're going to do that on all four sides. This too, uh, you know, you of course decide how, What's the word? How high of an arch you want in there. Uh, 
because depending on how you want to decorate it, you might want to have a higher arch or not. It's up to you. Now, this part, my initial thought, you know, in looking at it quickly was, oh, we're going to aura this line on the outside, but we're not coming from this corner. We're coming from the, um, from the grid line. So just like that. So you just have to work to merge it in to and from. And this too, you know, you, you play with the, with the distance that you want to have there. And that is it. Except for playtime. Now, um, I'm just going to do some shading on this one uh, to explore some things that I didn't do on our Tangle Time. But first, I, I want to make these a little bit bigger. Now, the nice thing about this, and because they're filled in, it's the, the course correction of, of the fill-in that I love because you can, you know, reshape if you need to, as long as you're going bigger. That's the only, that's the only direction you get to go with that is bigger. It doesn't work the other way. Although I'm just looking, I'm like going, that actually looks kind of cool too, to have that fill. I might, after I do these, I might come back and do that. I just want to because that's just nice. This too is a lot of times where I will decide or it might help make the decision on how I want to decorate something. It's like, well, did I, is there something that I need to fix or adjust? Because if there is, this is, you, you know, that will depend on maybe how I do my decorating. Okay. Oh, and I said, I, I do like that one. So I'm going to do that aura very, very carefully. Actually, I'm going to add that. Had it. <laughs> like, yeah, that one could have been a little bit better, but it's okay. Sometimes I find, and, and I don't know, if you find this as well, let me know in the comments. Sometimes when I'm not thinking about something, things will just come, come, or they'll happen. It'll be like, oh, that's awesome. And then when you try to recreate it, it's like, no, why can't I recreate this? <laughs> Is it just me? Okay. So one of the things that I liked that Deborah did one was just kind of shading half, and so you just pick whichever half. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill. Well, I'm, I'm scribbling, but I'm gonna uh, smooth it out with the tortillon to make it solid. And then while I have the pencil in my hand, that she did that too. Okay, let's, oh, let's do this first just because I don't want to end up with too much of the graphite on my tortillon. So I'm just bringing it out about a third into uh, this shape here. Just to make it look, oh yes, kind of shiny. I said this, I was just going to spread that out, make it solid. Just like that, and I'm going to actually make, um, let's make this a little bit dark. Mm. There we go, there. Yeah, that helps. Totally helps. Yeah, 
Shall I or shall I? <laughs> yeah, fine. Okay. Well, I'll decide by the end. You'll have known because it will be different. I'm thinking I might just fill in this here. But let me show you that I can decide and you'll 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 have seen it like I said on the front cover of the video. But let me show you some of the work that we did um, that I did during the sessions today. So this is the same tangle in um, this would be a 16 square grid. So then we have four of these. And there's a lot of fun that you can have with it. You could take one just one square and have fun with it as a fragment because that's essentially what we've done here is just that you know we've turned it clockwise in each of these four uh, let me also mention if you decided to uh, you could use this as a border by just doing half you could use do it as a border like this but if you just do it like this and that's one of the things that she shows in her sample but uh, but had fun with this i was going with a delft look because that's what i felt like and my thing is don't know why. Let's see if we can get that going. And then had fun on a Renaissance uh, gray tile or gray tile. Excuse me. Uh, this was a white tile, white tile, tan tile. Um, and this one I decided to do just one big one right in the center and uh, replicate one of the <clears throat> the samples that um, that Deborah had on her page. And then I, I added uh, around the outside. Really fun tangle. Lots of fun. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, would love to have a, uh, a thumbs up or a like. Feel free to share it. And if you liked it enough to see more, I would love to have you be a subscriber to the channel. Uh, that, of course, is free. In the description section, underneath the links to the step out uh, are ways to connect with me. So, link to my website. If you happen to be on Facebook and want to, um, have fun with a bunch of other Tangle Addicts. Uh, there's a link to our private group there. Um, on my website, links to classes uh, and just uh, seeing all the, uh, the different classes that I do. Uh, I do have a lot that are free. I have some that are paid, which helps to afford me to do uh, the free ones. I also have a membership club. So if you come, if you, you know, if, if this is your first viewing, come check us out on a Tangle Time on a Thursday uh, for free. Um, there's also one Tuesday that I do that's a, a free one called Tough Tangle Tuesday. And, um, you know, come see and then and then go from there. So, like I said, we have a lot of fun. We do amazing work. Come any level, uh, any level. It, uh, we, um, we like to celebrate everybody that is doing Zentangle, regardless of, um, of anything. So, because I know we have a lot that, uh, you know, have some health challenges and whatnot. We celebrate what you do because that is what Zentangle is about, your journey, not about anything else. It's about your journey. So I hope you join us. And with that, thanks so much for watching, and I wish you happy tangling.